Chris, like directing. Okay, ready? One, two, three. The party started, like, my friends. Yeah. Woo, woo. Good one, yeah. Hey, I got a. <laughs> you are loopy. <laughs> I got a fast uh, car, now I need a fast woman. Whoa! Whoa I'm teasing you. <laughs> we have something really special for you today. It is a fast car. No, it's a fast car. <laughs> really groovy car. Now, you were out with this car, weren't you? Yes, this car that I'm about to show you is really something special. It's worth a whopping $700,000. It was recently in Colorado, and I had the privilege to check it out and take a ride. Take a look. Aaron Barnell is here to tell me about this really cool car. What's this car doing in Colorado? This car is uh, coming visit uh, American Dreams Colorado. It's uh, roving around the U.S. via Evolution Motorsports. Uh, we're just trying to get the, the word out about the Comfort Apollo and um, strum up some uh, buyers here in the U.S. market. So that's kind of the goal here is to sell this car. I imagine you get quite a few looks when you're riding along the street in this one. Yes, lots of questions. What kind of top speed it has? Uh, what kind of horsepower, what kind of car is it to begin with. Okay, so tell me those things. What kind of car is it? Uh, Gumpert Apollo. Uh, Roland Gumpert is a uh, German engineer that, that produces the car. Uh, there are 49 of them in the world. They, they range from five hundred dollars to $800,000. Uh, wow. Yeah, they're 2,645 pounds, and this one happens to be 750 horsepower. Oh, now, this, you said, is a street car, but does it race? It, it does, but it's more of a weekend warrior. It's not a professional race car. It's uh, a car for a gentleman that wants to uh, hop in a car with air conditioning, a stereo, and go to the track, set some track records, and then uh, head back home. Sounds like a ladies' car to me. It's got the air conditioning, it's got some music. Well, you said gentleman. Yes, yeah, you know, especially if you're married, you gotta, you gotta yeah. press the wife as well. Okay, so you're gonna take me for a ride? Yes, I will. Okay, so I'll get in over here. It's a little bit challenging to get in. I, I, I don't know that I can figure out the seatbelt, but we'll get in here. Get the seatbelt on, and then we'll go for a little ride, see what it feels like. This car you said is here in Colorado for just a couple of weeks? Yes, yeah, so it's uh, been here for a week. Uh, we're basically kind of showcasing it off at uh, American Dreams Colorado, which is, is my uh, and uh, business partner's uh, exotic rental car company. Okay, well, let's fire it up. I like the color, too. <laughs> uh, anywhere you go, people have got all kinds of questions um, from, you know, like I said, what is it to uh, how fast does it go? And you, you feel the the, uh, the need to answer all those questions, okay. especially when you're, you're just... Uh, you know, you have the car here for uh, for the public to vi you know to view. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's go. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, wait! Somebody's crossing the road. <laughs> here we go. Bye bye. We couldn't go anywhere because we kept getting stopped. Everybody you went wanted five to miles an hour. No, we did Let's not. wrap this baby up. We did. We actually got out there. It was amazing. Was it? That car can't, I don't know how they drive it anywhere. Everybody stops you everywhere you go. Cool stuff. So we're told that the Gumpert will be back in Colorado before the snow falls. It's a big deal when it comes. It often makes appearances for charities. And the car itself, I know it loves all the attention. So we'll let you know when we hear it will be coming back. Awesome. Hey, don't forget, uh, coming up, we're going to give you the wild.